June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. might hurt a mite, but I got to get you in the house. But Sam ain't no chicken. <laughs> Neither are we, that's for sure. That's all I can do for now. Might have to put him in the hospital, Cully. Oh, no, Doc, I'd rather keep him here where, where I can look after him myself. Well, Cully, we'll talk about that tomorrow. How is he, Doctor? Well, it's hard to tell just now, Timmy. Say, shouldn't you be in school, young man? I've already been to school. Been? Huh, what do you know? Say, he's pretty near over. <laughs> Poor fellow. Is there anything I can do? for 20, 25 years. What are you going to do with it now? I do. Why? Why, nothing, Timmy. Nothing at all.
Come on, Lassie. Why, Mr. Cully? Bye, Jim. All right, girl. I'll come back and pick you up later. Over at Mr. Cully's. Well, you better go get her before supper. Mom, I'm afraid to go back there. Why, Timmy? Well, Sam got hurt by that wild maverick steer. Oh. And Mr. Cully started cleaning his gun. What for? He wouldn't tell me. Hmm. Well, how badly is Sam hurt? Dr. Weaver looked at him. But he didn't say. Let's go see what this is all about. Maybe Cully needs help, and that's what neighbors are for. Mom, the way he talks, the way he acts, he's just like a different person. Maybe you just imagine it. told me about Sam, so I came right over. That's mighty nice of you, Ruth. Is there anything I can do? No. Nothing. No. Nothing at all. Well, now, you just holler if we can help. Or would you like to have supper with us? Thanks, no. I'd rather not leave Sam alone. May we just look in at him to see how he is? Yeah. Sure. The patient seems to be comfortable. Doc's doing all he can. Well, he's in good company. You got your rifle down, Cully. Yeah. I've never heard of you using it, ever since Paul and I have moved here. That's right. But there's a killer steer in the loose. Now, why don't you leave that to the sheriff? Do you remember the steer that came down here last time? Why, he was so wild it took a whole posse to catch him. I can fight my own battles, Ruth. That steer hurt my dog. It's a personal matter. But you can't catch him alone, Cully. You know that. I don't aim to catch him. If I go after him, I'll kill him. You don't mean that, Cully. Not you. Ruth, I, I never hurt man or beast. Not intentionally. But my Sam better not die. I mean it. You can go to sleep now, dear. I can't, Mom. Mr. Cully told me it was wrong to kill. And now... Well, he's upset. You would be, too, if something happened to Lassie. I know, but... But I wouldn't kill. He won't either. He's been kind and forgiving all his life. A man like that doesn't change overnight. 
But you heard what he said. What I heard was a man just spilling over with grief and worry. He doesn't want to kill a steer. He wants his dog to live. Now let us have a little faith in Mr. Cully. The rest he'll do himself, I'm sure. Okay, Mom. Good night. Good night, dear. Gosh, you scared me. I might have hit you. Come here, Lashy. Yeah, you know I wouldn't hurt you. What's the matter? You told Cully? What you scared of? She's scared of you, Mr. Cully. Timmy! What? Uh... You scare. And me, too. No, no, no. Timmy, you and me are friends, aren't we? Yeah, but... I don't know. I... Listen to me, son. No, no, Timmy. Don't run away like that. I see you to see Sam off. Real neighbor. I know you understand even... even though Timmy don't.
Hello, Timmy. Hi. I hope the patient's better this morning. Well, I don't know. I called Mr. Cully early this morning and he didn't answer. Hmm? Let's have a look around. What do you mean, following me around? Didn't I tell you to go home to Timmy? One gourd dog's enough for me. Uh, better take you home. Come on. Sam, will I just can't do it. It ain't in me. Killing man. I should have known I couldn't do it in the first place. I should have known it too, Mr. Cully. Oh, I can't blame you for doubting me. To me, I guess I just lost my, my head in the town of Sam. Lassie knew that all the time. Yeah. I guess we better call the sheriff, eh? He's probably on his way right now. You tell him? No. But Doc Weaver did. He got worried about you. Just like me and Lassie. I guess most everybody was worried about this old fool. But don't you worry no more. I ain't never gonna let you down again. 